Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 as usual and today we'll be doing a kind of review of a tier 7 tank, the AMX M4 1945. However, in this review we'll be handling things slightly differently because we will not spend that much time in the garage, actually none in the garage, and instead we'll just have a look at gameplay while I talk about the tank and give you tips on how to play this vehicle and so on. Speaking of how to play this vehicle, this video will also be uh, focused a lot more on general tips towards kind of gameplay in the vehicle as opposed to reviewing the tank, how well it performs. And uh, please let me know in the comments after you've watched this video if you like this format more than the one I used to use. And if you do like this format more, then please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. So, returning to the AMX M4, this is a tier 7 French heavy tank and uh, comes in the heavy tank branch leading up to the AMX 50B after the ARL 44. Now, when I first, uh, first got this tank, I was not looking forward at all to playing it because if you compare it to its predecessor, the ARL 44, it's got pretty underwhelming stats, it gets worse armour actually even worse mobility but slightly better power to weight ratio and uh, its uh, its gun is basically the same as the ARL's gun but it's not all bad news because the gun soft stats for example aiming time, reload time and so on are vastly improved for example you get 1.5 seconds less reload time and your aiming time drops to 2.9 seconds from 3.4 2.9 seconds aiming time is still pretty terrible as you can see right here but uh, another great advantage that the ARL 44 has is that it's got 10 degrees of gun depression frontally as you can see while I'm working this ridge line here and uh, that is pretty impressive however you should note that the gun depression is not 10 degrees all the way around but only at the front if you try to point the gun downwards and sides and rear then the gun depression decreases noticeably um, as for research in this vehicle, actually the stock grind is not too bad in the, air, uh, in the AMX M4 because a lot, of the, uh, uh, a lot of the modules, there I got it, uh, carry over from the ARL44. So you already got the engine and the radio and maybe even a 105mm gun. Still, uh, your load capacity will be at its limit when you obtain this vehicle, so first of all you have to uh, research for suspension or you could also go for uh, the equipment module that increases load capacity but that will set you back 500,000 credits. After that you get the turret to enable you to fit the 90mm DCA 45 gun that you already researched on the ARL 44 and last of all you can upgrade the engine. As for crew skills you want to go for brothers and arms and the entire crew and follow that up with repairs probably then sixth sense is a must-have on the ARL 40 uh, on the AMX M4 because the armor is pretty unreliable and you've got a pretty big silhouette with bad camo values. So knowing when you're spotted is very important to avoid artillery fire. Also, jack of all trades is great at the commander uh, because your crew get, takes quite quite a lot of damage in this vehicle due to its bad armor. Then snapshot and smooth ride are essential for gunner and driver because the aim time is so underwhelming in this vehicle. Then off-road driving is also great because this vehicle's terrain resistances are pretty disappointing and off-road driving will really help. Then situational awareness is very very good for your radio operator as you want to get most of your view range in this tank because you're kind of playing it's a second row sniping slash supporting vehicle and also safe storage for the loader is never a bad choice. Equipment basically there are two ways you can go here either you go the classic heavy tank route going for a enhanced gun lane drive to get a handle on that aiming time, a gun rammer and vents or you could also fit in a camo net and binocular telescope to improve your supporting ability if you find that you play this tank in a more passive uh, backline kind of way. Then, uh, well, speaking of stats on this vehicle, it is kind of very similar to the 
German tiger, really. It's But it's kind of worse in almost every respect. It's got less hit points, quite significantly. You will usually be able to take one hit less. Uh, it's got worse armor and uh, slightly better for mobility, but for top speeds is really pretty underwhelming still. It's got very, very nice pen on the gun, the AMX M4, however. 212mm, that's 10mm more than the Tiger. But each shot will set you back 1000 credits, and you're only doing 240 hit points of damage each time you pull the trigger. So make sure you kind of think twice before, uh, before firing around. Then you've got worse rate of fire, worse accuracy, and aiming time than the Tiger. But you've got a lot better gun elevation and your view range again is very disappointing. So overall really, I kind of feel like why would you have an AMX M4 if you could have a Tiger? The Tiger is just so much better it seems. As for playstyle, really it comes down to being able to play a support role with this vehicle. You cannot afford to be in the front line because you do not take punishment very well. You have to use your good gun depression to make the most of your somewhat decent turret armor i guess and just try to avoid artillery fire take cover behind uh buildings or rocks and generally play this tank very similarly how you would play a tiger or a super pershing say kind of sniping slash supporting from the second row and not taking any risks because you really cannot take the punishment so Overall, my final rating for the AMX M4 would be a very mediocre 4 out of 10, probably. I do not enjoy this tank very much. It is alright, I guess, but just knowing that you could have that a lot better Panzerkampfwagen 6 Tiger uh, instead of this vehicle kind of makes it not that enjoyable, at least for me. So, anyway... I hope you uh, enjoyed this new kind of format I tried out today. Please let me know what you think about it and uh, give me some feedback how you think I should maybe improve my reviews slash guides. Uh, anyway, this kept the video a lot shorter and I think I got a lot more information into uh, the video in a shorter time while making this as opposed to my usual 40 minute reviews. Anyway, I'm looking forward to your feedback and I'm also really looking forward to seeing you in a future video or maybe even on the World of Tanks Battlefield. I'll see you then and goodbye.